If you grew up on basketball in Cleveland in the 1990s, you know the name Damon Stringer. If you're a big Indians fan, that name probably means something a little different. The silky smooth guard went from Cleveland Heights to Ohio State before transferring to Cleveland State. But as 19 Scott Pennyman reports, what should have been a happy homecoming might have led to the darkest chapter in Stringer's life. May of 2002, former Ohio Mr. Basketball at Cleveland Heights High School, Ohio State and Cleveland State basketball standout Damon Stringer and his teammate Jamal Harris were arrested for aggravated robbery of at the time Cleveland Indians pitcher CC Sabathia in a downtown hotel room. He will go on to serve just over two years in prison. Since then, he's kept a low profile. But why? A little bit of it was, um, you know, on purpose as well, to just get myself together. One of the things he wanted to do was make a film about his life. Local rapper and filmmaker Ray Jr. teamed with Stringer to make the film What If to be released on December 15th to detail the life of Stringer and some of the decisions that led to his once promising basketball career being cut short. After being one of the top high school basketball players in the country, Stringer accepted a scholarship to Ohio State, where he excelled for the first few seasons, but then... At the end of my sophomore year, I ended up getting injured. Um, fractured vertebrae in my lower back, and Coach Ayers got fired, so I had to sit out my whole junior year. I had a brand new coach that came in, so kind of everything just was like turned upside down. From there, Stringer transferred to Cleveland State and back to his familiar surroundings. Returning back home to Cleveland seemed like a great idea, right? Besides, it is where Damon found the majority of his basketball success, but it was that transfer to Cleveland State University that Damon believes led to a lot of his issues. I think when you're home, it's like you kind of fall back into just old habits or you just get comfortable or you get lazy sometimes, or like I say, access just to too many childhood friends or people that you don't really need to be around that just don't have your best interests. And according to Stringer, it was those people that led to some of his bad decisions. Honestly, my, my biggest regret was not, even before that, just not keeping my head on straight at, at Ohio State. And with so many things crumbling around him, it was hard. I feel like I have a good heart. I'm a good person. I, you know, I try and see the best in everything. I see the, the glass is half full all the time. I give people the benefit of the doubt, you know, and it was basically like, you know, one night. So all the good I've done up to this point is just like, in the snap of a finger, it's like, he's evil, he's not a good person. Now years removed from his prison sentence, Damon has bounced back, recently having his jersey retired at the high school, teaching basketball to the youth, and integrating himself back into the Cleveland Heights community where it all started and instilling the knowledge he gained from his personal experiences to help the youth and help them benefit from his past experiences and help them stay away from some of the same mistakes he made. These kids are now in the ninth grade in high school. So I started working with them when they were younger and that's when I really you know, got serious about the training. So to see all of them in high school, starting to get college recruit, recruiters come around, um, this is when I feel like I'm really about to be able to make an impact on them, you know. I think I can really have an influence and help on them positively um, by helping them navigate this whole next four years in high school, on through college, navigate that situation and become strong, productive young men, whether it's on the basketball court or in the workforce.